In this video, I'm going to show you how to build a CI-CD pipeline to deploy an SAS application to AWS by using GitHub, AWS Code Pipeline, and AWS Elastic Beanstalk. First, we're going to create a new Nest SAS application. We are going to use the Nest command line interface. If you don't have that CLI installed in your system, you need to run npm install minus g. And this is at nest.js forward slash CLI. Okay, and now let's create a new Nest.js application. This is Nest, new, and the name of the application, let's call it Nest API. Here we need to select the package manager, we're going to use npm, and this is going to set up the initial scaffolding for the app. Okay, now that the project has been successfully created, let's clear this, and now let's enter into the project folder, to be Nest API. And now let's open Visual Studio Code. In order to deploy and run our application in AWS Elastic Beanstalk, we need to create a new file name proc file where we need to put the command that Elastic Beanstalk is going to run in order to start our application. I'm going to add that new file. This is proc file. And here I need to enter web. And here we need to add the npm command that is going to run. So this is npm run deploy. And now we need to add this deploy script here in the package.json file. So I'm going to add it here at the end. So this is deploy. And here we're going to run npm clean install. This is going to perform a clean install of the dependencies. This is usually used on automated environments typically for continuous integration. After we install the dependencies, we're going to build the application. Here is npm run build. And finally, we're going to start the application in production mode. So this is npm run start pro. And another thing that we need to change here is we need to go to our main.ts file and we need to pass the port that Elastic Beanstalk is going to set in the port environment variable. So this is const port equals to process.env.port. Elastic Beanstalk is going to assign the port to this environment variable. So if we don't receive that value, we can assign a default port, let's say 3000, as we already have here. Okay, and here I'm going to pass the port. And that's pretty much it. So this is a really simple application where we have a single controller with a single endpoint that is going to return a message, as we can see here, basically this hello world message. Okay, let's run the application and let's see if this works. So we can run the command that we just created, npm run deploy. Okay, our application is up and running on port 3000, so let's open a REST client. And here I'm going to perform a new request. So this is localhost 3000. From this, and we get a 200 OK, and we get the hello world message. Okay, our application is running, so Let's close this. And now let's go to GitHub and let's create a repo for our application. Okay, and now from GitHub, I'm going to add a new repository and I'm going to name this repo Nest API. I'm going to click on create repository and I'm going to push the Nest.js project. I'm going to grab this. I'm going to add the remote to this repo. Now I'm going to add all the changes, it add everything. Git commit and initial commit. Now let's push. Okay, now let's go to AWS and let's create a new Elastic Beanstalk application. Okay, and here from the AWS Management Console, we need to go to Elastic Beanstalk and we're going to create a new application. By the way, I'm in the North Virginia region, so I'm going to create a new application in that region. I'm going to call the application Nest. API, and I'm going to select the platform. This will be Node.js. We're going to keep selected this platform, Node.js 14. 
and the platform version. And we are going to keep the default one. Okay, I'm going to click on create application. And this is going to create a new environment. So we're going to generate the EC2 instances. It's going to set up an S3 bucket where it's going to put all the metadata to create our environment. This is going to create the security groups required and it's going to launch the EC2 instance. Okay, our Beanstalk application is up and running. This is just a sample application that Beanstalk provides just to launch the environment. And now we're going to create a new pipeline using the AWS code pipeline service to basically connect our GitHub repo with Elastic Beanstalk. So this is code pipeline. Let's go there. And here I'm going to click on create pipeline. I'm going to call this pipeline nest API. I'm going to create a new service role with this name. I'm going to leave the default selections here and I'm going to click on next. And here I'm going to select the source provider that is GitHub version two. And now I'm going to link my GitHub account. So I'm going to click here on connect to GitHub. I'm going to assign a name for this connection. This will be pragmatic reviews GitHub account. And I'm going to click here on connect to GitHub. This is going to ask me to authorize the AWS connector for GitHub. So I'm going to authorize. So here I need to install the new app. So I'm going to click on install new app. And I'm going to select only selected repositories. And I'm just going to select our repo for the Nest.js application. This is Nest API. So I'm just going to install the connector for this repo. I'm going to click on install. And now I'm going to click on connect. Okay, and now I'm going to select the repository that is Nest API and the branch that is master. I'm going to keep the default selection. So this is going to start the pipeline on source code change. So I'm going to click on next. I'm going to skip the build stage because we are going to do that directly in our profile. So I'm going to skip build stage and the deployment will be done on Elastic Beanstalk. So I'm going to select AWS Elastic Beanstalk. The region will be North Virginia. The application name will be REST API, Nest API. That is the name of our application that we already created. And the environment name is the Nest API. And this is the default name for the environment. So I'm going to click on next. Here we can review the pipeline settings, the pipeline name, the artifact location, the service role name, the action provider that is GitHub version two, the connection ARN. This is the name that AWS assigns to the connection to the repo. And the deploy action provider will be AWS Elastic Beanstalk for the application name and environment name that we already assigned. So I'm going to click on create pipeline. And this is going to run and it's going to get the source code from the GitHub repo. And then it's going to deploy the application into AWS Elastic Beanstalk. Okay, and now if we go to Elastic Beanstalk, we're going to see that our environment has been updated with a new deployment. Okay, the new deployment has been successfully executed. Here we can see the application versions. This is the initial version that we deployed when we created the new application. And this is the latest deploy performed by the AWS code pipeline service. So if we go to the environment, and now we can enter to the environment URL. And as we can see here, we get the hello world message from the Nest.js application. So now let's go to the application and let's change this message so that we trigger the code pipeline again. I'm going to change this message. This will be pragmatic reviews. I'm going to save this and I'm going to push this change to the repo. Add everything, git commit message updated. And let's push it, git push. Okay, and now if we go back to the pipeline. As we can see here, it was triggered again. Here we can see the latest commit. You're gonna see the change here. Yes, this is our last commit where we change the message. Okay, and now if we go to the environment on Elastic Beanstalk, the latest version has been successfully deployed. So if you go to application versions, we're gonna see here the third version of the application. So if we go to environment and we test the endpoint, as we can see here, we get the new message as we expected. 
All right. Thank you guys for watching and I see you in the next one.